Hello everyone, I'm Dehan for the Hammer Game Show and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 A to Z, Kaiser Redux Edition, the sequel that nobody asked for, but the sequel that everybody's getting. Um, we're skipping over Armenia today. Uh, it should be Armenia, but we're doing Australasian Confederation instead. Armenia, I was, I don't know what I was doing wrong, but it kept breaking. So we're taking a break from them, but I will come back to them as soon as we finish playing as the Australasian Confederation, Austria and Azerbaijan. Now. I'm not going to make a promise here, but I'm going to try my best to get both the Australasian Confederation, this video, and the Austrian video done this week. So hopefully this will be out on Wednesday. I'm recording this on Tuesday. It should be out on Wednesday. And then on Friday, we'll have Austria. And then we'll start getting back in some of the other mods as well, because I want to get back to varying what mods we play. I don't just want to put up this series all the time, because people just get bored of it. And there's other great mods to enjoy. Um, but anyways, let's hop in to the Australasian Confederation. So welcome to the Australasian Confederation. We are, um, we're not in a bad position, you know, we're in the Entente, we're not a puppet, which is good. Uh, we have four national spirits, um, most of them not good. The oversized fleet is an issue, the economic depression and bled dry are all terrible national spirits. Um, we can get rid of two of these fairly quickly. This one takes a little bit longer to get rid of and the Anzac Spirit will be sticking around and we get a chance to slightly modify its benefits as well with a focus. Well, sadly, King George V has passed away. King Edward will soon be getting coronated. It's always concerning when you see the Sorlians get elected in France because you know that Valios is going to be assassinated and that uh, there is potential for a very early second Velcraig. Here we go, the 1936 federal elections is here. We could actually go ahead and put John Curtin in power in the Australasia Labour Party, but uh, sorry, social democracy, that ain't happening. We're going to go with Stanley Bruce in the United Australasia Party, the UAP. And it is also time to uh, select a new Governor General. Now, I'm going to go ahead and choose the member of the Royal Family, because why not? It gives us some stability and it also improves our uh, relations with Canada. And by doing that, we gain Prince George as our Governor General, and then we have Stanley Embrus as the Prime Minister. Well, um, good, good, good job, Russia. Um, Russian Socialist Republics here. They did manage to take out the Alash Order before uh, going to to war, but um, Kornilov and Savinkov are now here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I should point out Siberia as well. So Kolchak's going to probably invade them. Uh, I think he does have the chance to just peacefully annex them as well, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I think there's another participant in the Civil War that spawns over here. I can't remember exactly who it is. And I think this is how West... Or sorry, White Karelia actually gets their independence. And I think Finland will probably invade as well. So we'll wait and see what's going to happen to Russia. Well, everybody that I said was going to pop up has popped up now. White Karelia has revolted. They're seeking to obviously gain their independence from the Russians. And Finland has intervened on their side, so they're helping them. And the Western Russian army with Pavel Bert Bertmont Avalov has um, also revolted in the Civil War. He's got some German backing as well, so obviously the Germans are intervening. And uh, Transmur did annex Siberia peacefully. So I wouldn't be shocked if Kolchak also invades. So I don't really know what this is exactly going to do, except from probably just improve trade relations. I don't know if Canada will maybe give us something in return, or if any of them will. Uh, we'll go ahead and trade with the Canadians first. Oh, King Edward is also touring the Australasian Confederation, so he's here for three months and we gain the effects of the royal tour. What exactly does that do for us? Ah, oh, that's... That's not too bad. The stability and war support's quite nice, but the other two are pointless at this moment in time. Ah, so Canada has approved the trade deal and we just literally gained some trade relations with them, but also some political power. The political power is quite handy. I've literally just got back while I spent on going to early mobilisation. So that's that's not too bad at all. I think actually what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and get the uh, Broken Hill Propriety Company Limited. That gives us uh, 10 construction speed for both mills and sieves, so very, very useful. And just like that, the depression is no more. Our economy is fully recovered, so we can now go ahead and invest some new factories. We'll start off with the civvies, of course, and then what we'll also do is we'll start heading towards um, these research lots as well once we've grabbed these, because we'll be well over 35 factories. We're going to slowly but surely invest in some resources as well. We're currently grabbing 10 steel We've got 12 aluminium, 4 steel, and 3 steel to get right now. We've got a further 10 steel, 8 aluminium, and 
17 oil later on down the line once we've done a couple more focuses to unlock those decisions. Oh, you dancer! Thanks to our um, trade with the Canadians, we've just gained a civvy factory. No, South Africa has fallen to radical socialists. No! Oh, Finland and the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic have signed a white peace. So, Finland has, of course, lost some territory now thanks to that, but uh, that's what you get for failing Finland. And they'll probably join the Reich's Pact fairly soon now. Oh, l literally instantly. They instantly joined. Oh, nice. We're getting the IEDC investment. Yes. Every single one of these we get. Oh, it's so good. So, let's go ahead and take a civvy. We'll take the civvy. And Canada is also very early on into the American Civil War pledged their... Um, support to one of the governments, and it has been the Pacific government. I have to say, I'm pretty sure the Royal Tour is over. Do we just get this effect for the rest of the game now? Because if so, it's it's not the worst. The one stability is pointless, but I'll take the 5% on everything else. Well, 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 it's October 1937, and we have five research slots. It's, it's just fantastic. I love having so many slots so early on. It just makes research and stuff very, very, very good. Um... We're going to build up to 40 civilian factories and then we're going to start pumping out, as you can see, some mills. And we do have this last focus here to gain the last four mills and then we will go towards overhauling the fleet and upgrading the reserves because that hits us hard for 180 days, the upgrading naval reserve, because that's minus 75 dockyard output. Um, and consumer goods goes up by 10 as well. So I want to get this done as soon as possible, preferably before any wars kick off. Or wars that I actually want to join, because Canada's calling us in against Puerto Rico, which I, I'm sorry, I'm not coming to help with that. Oh no! Georges Valios has been shot dead at a speech. What a terrible shame. So, literally in the space of one, two, three, four focuses, or one, two, three, four focuses, the French commune could be at war with Germany. And the second Velcroy could be on the way. Well, I suppose it was only a matter of time before the socialists did emerge victorious, but it's not exactly great for, uh, for us. That means they're going to be in a much stronger position when the second Velcroy comes along. And also, South Africa has joined up with the Third International. Perfect. We're no longer suffering from the oversized fleet. We have overhauled the RAN. Let's go ahead and upgrade the reserves now, just so we can get rid of this before the second Velcroy kicks off. Oh, it's about time that Kolchak invaded. I was wondering what was taking him so long. Oh, yep. The light ships have been overhauled. So let's see how many ships we gain from that. We gained 37 ships. 37 ships. Not ridiculous at all. Perfect. Now the cruisers have been overhauled. So how many ships have we gained there? We've gained another 11 ships. So our second fleet is building up to be uh, quite good as well. It's almost as strong as our first fleet that we had. This is good. Oh, here we go. The capital ships have been overhauled. How many did we gain? I, I doubt there's going to be that many for, for them. Six. Four battleships, two battle cruisers. I will take that. Not too shabby at all. Is it a good fleet? Not good. A scandal is rocking government. The UAP's unpopularity is increasing and they've came under fire due to a corruption investigation which has made its way into the newspapers. Fantastic. So we've got a little event here which is to do with the Anzac Doctrine, which is this national spirit here. We can slightly modify it in one of four different ways. I think the best one to go for is focus on organization and planning. It means we're basically plus five, five, five and five and all those and then we gain plus 20 for max planning. I think that's pretty good. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, well, well. Of course, we know who I'm going to be voting for here. Eric Campbell and the Centre Party. So Prince George stays as Governor General and our new Prime Minister is indeed Eric Campbell. And that has opened up victory for the guards. I'll stop doing that. I don't need the resources right now. I do want to go ahead and get rid of new unrest because it's bringing our stability down quite badly. And in fact, it looks like we remove even more stability. Uh, I should have done it before now, but it looks like we can only change conscription now by forcing conscription. Well, we might as well just take the hit now. Minus 30%. Oopsie! Ah. We've just lost cores on New Zealand. Oh, we can just restore order. It's just going to take 180 days. Well, we'll just instantly do that. So we'll, we'll take a further hit to stability. Wait, what is this? 
um, the second Melbourne Uprising, I am not changing to Syndicalist. No, minus fat. I want to see what happens if I ask the British for help. I'm going to see what happens. If I become a puppet, we're not doing that. Right, let's ask the British for help. What's the worst that could happen? Remove new unrest, lose stability, National Party. No! Does that mean I can still do these focuses or am I binned from doing them? It's been bypassed and I can no... Oh, no, no, no. I'll deal with myself. I'll take the hit. Right, we are crushing this by ourselves. We can deal with it. Oh, thank heavens. Order has been restored. We're no longer suffering from the, what was it, new unrest? Yeah, so we're still in negative stability though. Nice. Uh, we can gain some royal advisors, the Australian guard officers, laissez-faire reforms, the new plan. Removes bled dry. Yes, going straight for that. I'll be honest, I think it's probably a good idea if we just join the war, but I'm gonna make sure that I actually join just against the Third International. The German Canadian, yeah, the French Danubin War. What? Oh, right, I've read it wrong, the French Danubin. It means these, it's the Communist French. Okay, I'm not at war with Germany. No. Phew, okay. That's better. Happy days. Right. Let's go ahead and ask for military access. And what we'll do is we shall prepare a naval invasion. I need to up actually upgrade the tech. We shall prepare a naval invasion from from here. I'm not even gonna, oh, actually, no, do we do it? I think actually probably better off just going from Singapore. And um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit Hanoi. Ah, uh, yes, the renewed call to arms is here, and Bled Dry is no more. The other focus that you do to get rid of it is actually the war effort. Uh, you need to be at war, obviously, to do that. But it is gone. Oh, nice. Rebuild the Australasian Confederation. It's it's not really completely helping with everything, but at least we're back into a positive stability. We have secured the port of Hanoi. We are officially landed in the Indo-Chinese Union. Oh, I just noticed that the, the French are... Uh, are no more, and the Portuguese have always lost all their territory. Um, no good, um, but sadly, I'm I'm not going to be assisting with that. Uh, we are we're doing our bit down here. Should be in. We should be in. Nice, perfect. Everybody on that. Aggressive, because if we can push across, then we're sorted. Saigon is actually not far away. We're not going to be able to save that Dominion Delhi division, sadly, but. They have provided us an end to Saigon. Yep, we've taken it. Well, that is them kind of done and finished for, if I'm being totally honest. We have cut them off, but divisions have decided to leave Saigon. Uh, the fall of Paris. Okay, I might not actually need to join in and help with the rest of the Third National. Well, that's going to be anticlimactic if that's the case. Well, France is no more. The commun Well, the, sorry, the French National Workers' State is no more. They are gone. So the Italians are kind of left to fend for themselves there, and the Union of Britain, of course, is also standing kind of alone. But we'll deal with them very, very soon. Our fleet is actually almost here. In fact, they are here. They, they are ready for action. Take Glasgow, you take there. We've also secured Dundee already. Actually, let's be honest, they weren't doing a great job of defending whatsoever, really. Okay, plans are drawn. Into action we go. We want to just cut them off from being able to push us back in Scotland. I want to link up the fronts. But also deal with the Union of Britain, that, uh, troops that are still actually in the north. Oh, that is a, that's a lot of troops in there. See if we can... Oh, it's, it's been surrounded. <laughs> they, they've been surrounded in Liverpool. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I, I don't know how we've managed to just lose 22k. The Union of Britain's rubbish. I don't know where they've been. There goes London. They're dead. It's over. The, the war's actually over. Oh no, I'm not going to play our peace conferences on. I'm going to be honest, that's not exactly how I saw the deal going. The Danube Federation took bits of land that they didn't even do anything in regards to taking. Um, I managed to take Scotland. Oh, Canada got... I think Canada... Okay, Canada got that. I got Scotland. Um, I, also got, I also got Italy. Uh, and um, I may or may not have just, like, stole 107... <laughs> Holy... Oh my days, they're... <laughs> um, I, I've just... I've, I don't... 
Holy crap, what a fleet. Oh my days. You know what? Do you know what? I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with how that's gone for us. Um I'm I'm very happy we've got Scotland and we got Italy and we got a thick ass fleet. Um, it's a shame I can't just betray the Entente now. Not gonna lie, this 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 may be a little bit cursed what we're actually planning on doing here. I'm invading the National Pacification Army because why not? Why not? It's all fun and games here. Yeah. It's it's going pretty well. I don't mind losing thirty seven thousand men. We've got one hundred and three k of them, and we are very close to actually finishing the whole war off. Oh, and speaking of wars finishing off, the um, Russian civil war's kind of over. The Western Russian army is gonna have to be uh, defeated by Kornilov, and then there's another war uh, around the corner. Ha 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 ha! Oh, it's over. I'll, 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 I'll take your ships first. Well, um, th this is, this is, this is nice. Um, Ching, how many divisions you got? Uh, barely any. Um, nice. Um, I shall prepare the, uh, the war against you, and you. Yep, that, that seems to be where we're going now. Well, this, this game's just getting more and more cursed as we, <laughs> we continue. Um, Ching's not really got any divisions, it's um, the League of Southeast Provinces that does, although we're cutting through them like Swiss cheese. See, there's a part of me that hopes that I'm actually able to puppet some of this soon, but at the same time, uh, Japan probably gets war goals on them, so... And that is going to be easier said than done to defeat them, because Mongolia is going to be a bit of a nuisance. Like, they're, they're not even, like, holding me in the slightest, they're just getting absolutely destroyed. Yep, game set and match, thank you very much. Beijing government under the control of Australia. Oh nice, I can demand claim Dutch East Indian lands. So let's do it. That that's that's nice and all, but I didn't really want that now. Um Cool. I'm not going to really do anything in terms of naval invading them. I'm just going to Oh my days, my fleet's ridiculous. Just merge all to one right now and then just uh head on over to to England, which is still owned by Canada, because I've <laughs> I've put it in Scotland. But hey ho, you know we can't lose the whole of the UK because the Germans. I'm surprised they haven't actually taken any action to take down Canada because there's like five divisions defending the island, four even. Nice, um, nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Just just take Amsterdam. You know we're we're right there. Just take it. Yep, that is Amsterdam under our control. Take there, please. Take Eindhoven. That was... wow. Wait, why the hell am I getting the fate of Northern Manchuria now? Well, I'll give it to Beijing. There, there we go. Indonesia, let's liberate you. But I got to keep my claim territories. Nice. Dutch Guyana, release a loyal integrate in... Uh, do you know what? The... they are not getting it. Suriname can be puppeted, and the Netherlands. Give Belgium their claims and liberate- No, we're not giving Belgium their claims! Well, um, what the hell is- <laughs> What is this Belgian border? 2060. what the- what the hell? I like how- look how- look how weak the German front is, defended. And then- and, and then look at the Belgian one. Wait, what? Prin Prince George has just been killed in a car crash. What? So we've got Prince Henry. So how, how is he king in- <laughs> How is he currently king, king, king in New England and then over here in the Australasian Confederation? Well, he's now just a figurehead for us, so Eric Campbell, you are fully leading us now. Well, he always has been, let's be honest. Um, apparently Socialist Italy is still alive somewhere in this world, and I, I, I don't see where. Well, 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 Japan, hello there, it's me, Australia, we're here to <laughs> put you down. So guys, don't know what's happening, but we're gonna have to leave the episode there. Every time I get to uh, January 19th, the game crashes. I have no idea why, because it's not like there's much conflict going on in the world, and Middle Africa is reformed, so it's not them exploding. Um, we've had a pretty good game, though. I would have loved to have taken out Japan, that was the last thing I really wanted to do this game anyways, because there's no way I'm beating the Reichs back by myself, and I do not trust Canada at all to do anything that resembles combat, even though they got 101 divisions. Um, it's been a good game though. We've we've got Indonesia as a puppet, the Beijing government as a puppet, and they're a pretty damn powerful puppet as well. Once they actually build themselves back up, 
So how much man? They've got two mil manpower. Um, we've also got Scotland as well, and the Netherlands, and Italy. So we have we've had a good game. We've had a very good game, and I wish we could have taken on Japan because then, well, I would have taken on maybe German East Asia. To be fair, I could probably take them on. It's just I wouldn't get peace with Germany. It would never be achieved. And the Germans have probably got like a ton of divisions over here anyways. So that's probably more German divisions than is actually German East Asian troops. So I don't think they're... Nah, uh, maybe it is their troops, but Germany has... Yeah, Germany has a lot more troops than we do, and we are no way capable of defeating them. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very, very soon for another episode of the series when we will be playing as Austria, but not the Danube Federation. We will be playing as Austria, but we will be keeping the social conservatives in power, and we will be going down the... I think it's this focus you do, approach the autonomies to become the United States of... Oh, no, there is there. The United States of Greater Austria. And I can't wait. It's going to be good fun. It's going to be good fun. So until next time, guys, do take care. Cheer bye. Then out.